What's up, guys? It's May 8th, 2024. Nice day for the Bulls. Bulls. It was a pretty tight trading range for a piece of the day, the middle section. I'm going to go over where the buyers and sellers are and where we are in the market cycle, like leg one, leg two moves. Try, I try and keep them to about 10 minutes because I don't want to take up too much of your time. Big gap down. Bar one, bad continuation. My pen's not working. Bad continuation for the Bears. Bears tried to break below the higher time frame EMA, but Bulls bought it. And the higher time frame charts. <clears throat> Bears dipped below the EMA yesterday. And then they dipped below the EMA overnight session, I think, actually. And then, uh, you know, it got brought back up higher low. So we're starting to go sideways. We had some range expansion. Three bars, and now we're starting to pull back a little bit. Bulls buy the EMA, bar one. Bar two is a good breakout bar. And bar three is a... It's a bear bar, but it has a bullish body. And they're keeping a gap. Actually, there's no gap open. There's a body gap, but not a tail gap. Bar four, strong breakout. Bulls are buying far below the EMA, so bears don't want to short lows. Already something's not right. If this was a strong breakout, bears would be shorting. There would be some momentum at least for the first hour. But there's no momentum, so it's not a good breakout. Bar four, strong bear bar. Bar five is follow through. Bulls, did I say bear bar? Strong bull bar. Bulls are clearly buying lows. They want to get into the EMA. Bar six is good follow through. Bulls are buying the lows with the tails. And they're buying highs. Bar seven, we start to see a big tail. That could be a sign of sellers and sellers at the EMA maybe. Or they could be sellers sitting at yesterday's low because we broke through yesterday's low. That becomes its resistance. Bar 7, I think, could be start to become a bear trap because there's so much bullish pressure. I think bulls will buy the first discount they get. With bar 9, we see bad follow-through. for the, It is follow-through for the bears, but it's bad follow-through. Bad context to go short. Bar 10, immediately, if you, get, if you enter in the market here with this one tick on 10, it reverses against you and you're in the red. There's not a real chance for bulls to, uh, bear, bears who got trapped down here to get out. So that when they buy back their shorts for a loss, that causes the market to surge. In a range bound environment, it's a lot more forgiving so people can get out of their trap trades. But what causes a trend is when they get trapped down here and they have no way to get back out at the 50% level. So bears will buy back their shorts, bulls will buy the lows, and that causes a breakout above the EMA. Bar 11, bar 12 looks like it could be kind of climactic. I was watching this bar, it raced up and then sold off. Bar 13 and 14 go sideways to the EMA, kind of flagging. So we have a leg one, four, leg two, leg three, leg four. This is also a parabolic wedge top. Or you can say leg one, pull back, leg two, trap. We're, we are range bound because it's big, big down, big up. Bar 15 is a strong breakout above the EMA. Bar 16, the bar is pretty big and it has climactic tendencies. It's a nice to spar late in the bull trend. It's either the fourth leg or second leg, depending on where your leg count ring starts. Bar 17, bad follow through. If this was a good breakout bar to get above the gap, bulls would not want to see bar 17. It's an it's, um, inside bar after a climactic move, testing the highs of bar 78 yesterday. Bar 18, the market makes a leg lower right here, and it pulls has a deep pullback, letting the bulls who got on top of bar 16 out. And the bulls who get out, they sell out of their longs, bear short the recent high. The recent swing highs right here. So that causes them to sell off for a couple legs lower. Bar 21, bears go into the EMA. Bears are selling above the EMA and bulls are buying below the EMA. So that's a range day, right? Because usually bears want to sell below and bear, bulls want to buy. But look, bulls are buying below and bears are selling at high. So buy low, sell high is a range day. I think this channel is strong enough to get a second leg down. It's a micro channel because of these tails which signifies two side trading. Bar 21 sells off sharply but reverses. Not a bull bar body, but it does reverse, so that's not good for the bear case. Bar 23 has a bull body. It's a range bar. 24 and 25 starts to look like a bear flag, a higher high. 26, we get a lower, a lower high for the bears, so that's good. And the market trends, the market's high start trending lower up until bar 20. Nine. <clears throat> so in a range by environment, the legs won't be symmetrical. This could be a leg one, pull back leg two. 
pull back and then opposite bar pull back like three opposite bar so you see how the bulls are also the bears are also getting weaker strong channel less strong super less strong one bar but then they get two legs down here they actually get three legs down with this with the body the the second leg's hidden with this body but let's get back to over here bar 34 bulls trying to reverse above the ema i actually did get trapped here thinking it was a like one pull back like two and the market was finding support bar 34 looks like a strong breakout but no follow through i think it's definitely okay to get out of longs i got out of longs on 36 just to see, i want to see if it would bounce back up but it didn't so yeah i think you definitely have to get out of longs by 36 because this is a failed reversal with follow through and that's just not good so long should be hidden out 37 fall through 38 the market vacuums down and tests the low of bar 10 here market starts to go sideways so there's a lot more sideways price action this is a bear channel with a bullish breakout bar 40 test the ema we go sideways again the market i think was waiting for the bond this is a this is a news bar market sold off and raced all the way back up i think it trapped bulls on bar 44 and it made another leg lower right here so very asymmetrical like one pull back like two pull back like three and the second leg's hidden within bar 43 that that could be the form of a wedge bottom this could be a wedge bottom and a wedge bottom just means three pushes down right so one two three that's three failed breakouts the market will try the other way that's what happened here three failed breakouts one two three market starts to find support bear flag here it reverses with 51 strong breakout 52 53 54 is a good so this is so we have a strong breakout with fall through this creates a micro channel how do i know this is a micro channel because there's tails now on the five minute chart it does show a bull body so it does mean you know it's all trending highs but if that tail was since those sales are there that's two side trading so this is a form of a micro channel with a bullish breakout so here we have a bull flag trending higher breaks out c55 kind of climactic and then it sells back off 50 six is the first trend line break so that creates a bull flag because this is, would be the trend line 56 sells off and reverses higher that's a bull flag on a lower time frame 57 same situation it breaks the trend line right here and sells off 58 bad follow through 59 market dumps 56 bulls buy back lows and then they get out here so bulls get trapped on 57 they buy lower they get out here that causes the market to sell off for two legs asymmetrical legs 61 bad follow through for the bulls 62 market sells comes back up 63 market sells 64 we have a pause bar it's an opposite bar for the it's a it's an inside bar 64 60 65 66 67 strong selling and it kind of vacuumed the test yesterday's low but it reverses higher and bulls get the bear flag i mean excuse me bulls get the bull flag eod the, the eod price action looks like a wedge now right there and 50 76 looks like a good sell signal it's a double top so the high of 76 is 217 the high of 77 is also 217 i'm looking right here so see the high of 76 is 217 high of 77 is 217 so this is a perfect double top bulls that buy here buy more lower they get out their original price make like a point or two on the extra contract because they average down to the middle and then they get a point and the market dumps and they get bears get their two legs pretty nice day i try to keep this one under 10 minutes where are we in the market cycle well the the market had a breakout above the ema we still haven't had an opposite bar but they, we are starting to pull back starting to go sideways on the 45 minute chart so on the daily time frame we could be entering a channel phase or we could be in a range fit right it depends how are you reading this overall the market's range bound but within this price section we're breaking back out of the ema so the price the the whatever the market cycle is fractal so something to think about where are we in the market cycle here a break a reversal is a form of a breakout looks like the bulls reversed here strong with these bars first bar is a enters a channel phase we channel higher we get a very deep pullback Lots of wicks, lots of tails. The market gets trapped around here. Keep the, the bulls keep the gap open above the EMA and then they get two legs higher. Like one, pull back. <laughs> that was a deep pullback. Like one, pull back like two. Butch top sells off. Hope you guys are doing good. I appreciate all the questions. Keep asking these questions. Ask me one every day. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys later.
I am working on Friday. So yeah, Friday's videos will always be out on Monday. I'll talk to you guys later. I still have a nine to five. I work one twice a week, Friday and Saturdays. So I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one, guys. Bye.